Welcome to my first YouTube video on this channel, and if you want to see how to get this everyday makeup look, please keep watching. So the first step to my everyday makeup routine is using the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief Moisturizer. This is really great if you have oily skin like I do. And I also use the Professional Matte Rescue, and as I said, I have oily skin, so this also helps. Now I'm using the Thank Me Later Eye Primer, and this is just a basic one that I got in my Ipsy bag one month, and it's alright, it keeps everything on my eyelid, which is really good. Now I'm using the Benefit Professional Primer, and this is amazing to cover those pores and also to keep away oiliness. Now I'm going to be using the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay, and this is probably my favorite eye palette because of the rose gold tones. I'm using the color Nooner on my crease and on my lower lash line, and just blending that out. And now I'm going to be using the color Buzz on my eyelid, and it just adds a nice shimmer. And now I'm blending it all out with the color Strange. Now I'm using the Born This Way Too Faced foundation in the color ivory and this foundation is really nice it really does what it promises which is basically just add another look to your skin with still making it look like your skin if that makes sense meaning that this foundation is just extremely nice and it blends in very well now i'm using the covergirl ready set gorgeous concealer in the shade i have no clue what that says but it's just one of the lightest shades and I'm forming a triangle under my eye and doing the same for the other eye as well as putting it on any pimples or any dark spots that I have and also putting it on any areas that I would want to highlight. And I'm also going to be blending that out with my Real Techniques sponge and this is probably the best sponge I've ever used. Now I'm using the Neutrogena Micro Clear Powder and it's pretty good as you can tell I hit pan on it a while ago. Now I'm going to bake, which is probably my favorite part. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, which is really good. It's an amazing investment if you have the money for it. And I decided to splurge and get it for myself. So I'm just using a dry sponge, like a beauty blender, and I'm just putting it on all the areas I want to highlight. Now I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I completely love this. This is amazing, and that's why I was making those weird faces a second ago but I'm just putting it on the hollows of my cheeks around my face, meaning, you know, on my forehead and on my chin. And now I'm blending out my bake. And I just do this with the same brush, the same brush I got from e.l.f. because I think it blends everything in nicely. Now I'm using the Laura Mercier Shimmer Block, and this is amazing. It's an amazing highlighter, and I really, really love it. I'm just putting that on the high points of my face that I would want to highlight and now I'm using the Makeup Forever blush in the color 215 and it's really nice, really simple. Now I'm filling in my brows with the Maybelline Master Duo eyebrow pencil in deep brown I believe. It's really nice and it gives me that really sculpted look that I love. And now I'm using the same brand Maybelline Master Duo I believe or just the clear gel. And now for my favorite part, the mascara. I've said everything is my favorite part, but it's really because I love my makeup and I love this routine. So I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Uh, it's just the black one and it gives amazing volume and length and I really recommend it. Now I'm using the NYX Lip Liner in the color Plum. And as you can see, I really love it. I just use it to line my lips and fill them in. And I should probably get a new one because this one is running scarce. And as you can see, I'm sharpening it because it is truly amazing. It's my favorite color. Now I'm going to be using my MAC lipstick in the color Dark Side. And it's just the same color as the lip liner, just intensified. And it's really nice for that grunge dark look that you're going for, like I was in this look. Really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you did for more, and I'll see you guys next time.